this woman is beautiful. Brace yourself, my Cajun friends, right there in Louisiana. What happened, Clark Goldman? What do we know? Well, Nancy, this husband is an offshore employee, so he's on a three-day shift. He comes in and is surprised. His ex or his estranged wife, she doesn't live in the house anymore, but she's there. She's being really Whoa, friendly. Is that so their home? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I'd like yeah. to move into that. That's not bad. That's not bad digs. Yeah, the lawn is manicured quite nicely, as you can see. And he, his alarm bells are set off when he says, Why is my estranged wife here and acting nicely? She tries to wait, hold Wait, wait, when you mean the... acting nicely, you mean she, when he came in the door, she tries to start having sex with him, and he didn't buy it and finds out she's running a meth lab while well, he's well, that's offshore. Not what, that's not what authorities are saying, Nancy, but they are saying he attempts to go back into the bedroom, and she tries to stop him. When he gets there, he sees an unknown 43-year-old man in the shower. The man takes off drug paraphernalia a, all around the house, allegedly. Okay, and here's my question. It's not so. really that hard to do. What do you need to make meth, Dave Mack? Well, you know, we all know you need pseudoephedrine. You need a number of chemicals that are difficult to get, and you have to use other people to help you purchase them. But you've also got to have, um, I mean, if you've seen different television shows, you know that there's a number of uh, beakers and flasks and things. You've got to have a mini lab that includes it's a bunch of It's not that hard to do, types. Dave Mack. Every time when I was prosecuting, I hear of a house blowing up, and I go, mm-hmm, they're cooking up meth. 